السلام عليكم ورحمة الله الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله In the last 10 days of Ramadan we do the best we can and we seek our means so that our hearts is full of what is needed so that we get our dua accepted by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so that we can get the full rewards throughout the month of Ramadan. In the last 10 days of Ramadan there is Laylatul Qadr in which the acts of worship throughout this one blessed night is more than a thousand, thousand months being in acts of worship. It's a great blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to guide us. One of these means that would get the person full of the love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and having the means to have the dua accepted by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and so on is to have the fear of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the hearts. It is the sunnah of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on earth that if a person leaves something that is benefiting for his own self that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ordered, it's the sunnah of Allah that this person would be afflicted with what is harmful for his own self. What is the meaning of this? If a person leaves the worship of Allah, he would be afflicted by worshipping other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If a person leaves the fear of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, does not have the fear of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he will be afflicted by the fear of the creation of Allah. And so on and so forth. If a person does not put in his heart the trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and to have tawakkul and putting our trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then the person will be afflicted by having the trust in the human being and not to trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on earth. So a way to bring this happiness and the acts of worship to do it in the proper way, we need to have the fear of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in our hearts. There are certain space in our heart that has to be filled with the fear of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If it's not, then it will be occupied by the fear of the human beings or any other creation of Allah, which brings harm and distress in this life and of course punishment in the hereafter. So that's why we need to bring the means that would make us have the fear of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and seek the rewards from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone. How can we bring that? By reciting the Qur'an. By reciting the verses that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revealed and it shows us the different types of the human beings. Those who are obedient to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, they enter Jannah. And in the verses of the Qur'an, it comes with the details of Jannah. That brings in the heart seeking rewards from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And when the person reads about the disbelievers and about the sinners and how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala prepared for them the punishment and the hellfire, that brings the fear of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the heart that would make the Muslim steadfast in the religion of Islam. The ulama, they say the fear of Allah is like a, a stick or so, that the person is being guided by the fear of Allah. It's not an act of worship that would stay with the believers in the hereafter in Jannah. Like the love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, for example, it's something that is present in the hearts of the believers in this world and the hereafter. But when it comes to the fear of Allah, it's only present in their hearts in this life. Because they're not sure whether their life will be steadfast in the religion of Islam, whether they would enter Jannah or not. But in the hereafter, this fear of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will be removed from the hearts of the believers and they would enter Jannah and never have this fear anymore. They would have the opposite. So it's something that is important for us to bring in our hearts. The Prophet والسلام, although he is the one that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgiven all of his sins, the past and the present and the future sins, he would still والسلام, have the fear of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. One of the companions of the Prophet وسلم, he was martyred, killed. And one of the women in al Medina, she said, Allah is my witness, then so and so, Abu Sa'ib, the kunya, the nickname of this companion, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had blessed him. She said that, that my witness is that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala blessed you. So the Prophet told her, 
how would you know that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala blessed him? And then the Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam said, I seek rewards from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for him and I hope that he will be saved. But it even me that the Prophet sallallahu would say that and I am the messenger of Allah, I don't know what's going to happen to me. This is the word of the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wasallam, that he would stand in salah and weep alayhi salatu wasalam. And that he would say to the people, if you know what I know, you would laugh less and you would weep more. And you won't enjoy your wives on beds. And you would go out in the desert and so on, out of the fear of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Why? Because of the certainty and the knowledge that the Prophet sallallahu had. And that's why with knowledge, it brings the fear of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the hearts. إِنَّمَا يَخْشَى اللَّهَ مِنْ عِبَادِهِ الْعُلَمَاءِ That those people that would have the real fear of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala are the scholars, are the ones that are knowledgeable. So we need to bring the fear of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the hearts that brings actually joy because the Muslim would live the reality of this world and not the opposite, not by intoxicating oneself and being in state of forgetfulness and not just living for the pleasure of this life but, but living for the hereafter. Seeking the rewards from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And we need this so much in these days, in the last 10 days of Ramadan, to have the hearts humbled. The fear of in, being in need of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, so that the Muslim would seek the rewards from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone. The companions of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, when people try to make them fear or afraid of the disbelievers, they turn to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone. When they told them that the people are gathered against you to kill you and to fight against you, they said, Hasbunallah wa ni'mal wakil. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is our sufficient. We do not need no one but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He is the one that we put our trust in. And as a result, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave them victory after victory. As a result of their fear is only to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The ulama, they mentioned that the fear is of three types. The fear that a person would have that would be a form of shirk associating partners with Allah. If a person fear other than Allah in a matter that no one except Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would be able to benefit the person. Like someone being afraid of someone that is dead, that he might punish him for example. And the dead would not be able to benefit or push harm away from his own self. So this is a form of shirk. It's an act of worship that should be only for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The second type of fear that is wrong, when the person would disobey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as a result of fearing another human being or a creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So as a result, he would disobey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that would decrease in the heart the fear of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. A person fearing his boss at work, for example. So as a result, he would disobey Allah, neglect his salah. Or whatever it is, this is of course a sin because the Muslims should only fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The third type of fear which is something that is normal and natural is when the person, the human being, fears any form of harm that would afflict him. Whether it's pain or fire or whatever it is. And this is something that is normal. But it does not affect his obedience to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The Muslim, he brings the fear of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in his heart which gives the feel of contentment and happiness in this world and in the hereafter when the person would have the fear of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone and that would bring the rewards and the dua and all the different forms of good deeds in these last 10 nights of Ramadan. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to guide us to be among his righteous slaves. Wa sallallahu wa sallam wa barak ala muhammadin wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam. Allahu Allahu Allah, 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 Allah.